Hey there, we're back with Heather Black with the United Way of North Carolina. She is answering all your 211 questions. So 211 has this new feature for caregivers. If someone calls in and says they're a caregiver, what kind of help can you link them up with? So uh, with a partnership through AARP, who's provided some additional funding to 211, we have staff who've um, received some special training and the kind of resources and, and information that a, ca a caregiver might need. So anyone who calls 211 and identifies as a caregiver will be connected to some special staff called navigators. And those navigators will be able to provide them with um, caregiver resources, resources special for caregivers. But even more importantly, the navigator will stay in touch. They'll be able to reach out every couple of weeks to check in on the caregiver and see how they're doing. Because we recognize and AARP recognizes that the job of a caregiver is hard. It's very stressful, it can be very overwhelming. And sometimes the caregiver doesn't get asked how often, how they're doing. So this is a chance for the caregiver to have someone calling and checking on them. So just call 211 if you're a a family member or a friend acting in the, the position of a caregiver, not a paid, you can't be a paid caregiver. This is for those of us who take on those responsibilities um, just as, as part of our life role. Here's a question from a caregiver. They said they're trying to get someone into Meals on Wheels, but we're told there was a six month waiting period. Is there any way around that or another organization you'd recommend? So yeah, I would love for them to call 211. Um, Meals on Wheels is a great organization and I would imagine they may be overwhelmed, but please call and talk to our navigator and let's look and see if there's another meal delivery organization in your community that we can connect you with. So call 211 and ask to be connected to the caregiver navigator. How many different organizations do you guys work with that you can refer people to? So there's 13,000 resources statewide wow. in our database. So yeah, there's a lot of resources, but you know, this is a difficult time. This time of year is always difficult. And I think this year, especially as we continue to, to deal with the impact of the pandemic and the, the um, you know, the economic crisis in our country, there is just, um, there is, you know, a strain on our resources. So um, there are times that we have to wait. Um, there are times that resources run out faster than we would like. But again, our team is trained to try to help you problem solve and troubleshoot through that as well. If someone has a nonprofit that they'd like to get involved with 211 so you can direct them their way. That, yes, thank you so much. That's a great question. So if you go to nc211.org, which is our website, but you can also go there if you're someone who needs help because we have our, our database of resources accessible there. But for those who represent nonprofits um, at nc211.org, there's a tab at the very top that says agency professionals. And you can fill out a form there to submit your organization to be included in the 211 database. And our team of resource curators will review that and then um, do whatever they need to do. They may contact you to get some more information, but they'll work to get you included in the database. By far the biggest issue we hear about at the TV station are people having problems with their landlords, their rental properties. Can 211 help with that stuff? Sure, there are um, legal resources. Legal Aid of North Carolina is, is the primary legal resource in North Carolina. Uh, and we can certainly get you connected to that if you need some information. But we also have on our website at nc211.org, um, what we call our e-library, where we have some deep dives into some information. And there's a great article there about the eviction process in North Carolina, because I think there's a lot of people who've never found themselves in that position who are having to navigate that process. So if you go to nc211.org and, and click on resources, you'll find our e-library and you can find a document there about the um, eviction process. How many people call 211 every day? So uh, every day, I think it's about just under a thousand every day statewide. Um, we have two call centers, so it comes out to about 150,000 or so a year. Weekends are slower. It, it varies. Uh, Mondays are our busiest day of the week, so it, it does vary. But around average, we, we come out to about 150,000 calls a year. But we have more capacity. We, we, we are there to help you and we want you to call us. Well, thank you so much for being such a great resource for our community. Do not forget that number in case you ever need it. It's pretty simple. 211.